We investigated how bacteria react to antibiotics in space. Why would you need to do that in space? The reason is because a series of experiments in the past have shown several things, but one of them is that if you have a culture of bacteria on Earth and an identical one in space, after a few hours, whenever you're done with the experiment, you see that there are more cells in spaceflight than on Earth. And similarly, uh, another ser series of experiments have shown that their ability to form biofilms is improved in space, and biofilms are associated with diseases. Another thing that has been observed in spaceflight is the, their capability to cause disease in their host is also enhanced in space. And finally, the one that we're really focusing on on AES-1 is the fact that several experiments have seen that you need higher concentrations of antibiotics or you need more drugs to stop bacteria from growing in space. So that is a bunch of bad things if you were thinking about human space exploration, but actually it's an opportunity for us to investigate why and how bacteria are becoming so capable of surviving concentrations of antibiotics that on Earth would kill them. And that's a, that's a good problem to, uh, a good uh, opportunity to try to kill uh, bacteria that we currently can't kill with our drugs. So are you talking about drug resistant bacteria or what we call, I guess, superbugs? Exactly, yes, Lord. That's, that's what, what we're, we're talking about. So right now in 2015, most people think if I have a bacterial infection, I go to the doctor, get some antibiotics and it's all done. But in reality, there's a problem, the drug resistance problem on Earth that every year is worse. As a matter of fact, last year, over 100,000 people died from that. So just to put that immeasurable human cost in perspective, if this interview is five to six minutes in, in length, during that duration, one person passed away, which is really heartbreaking. As scientists, we need to do something, and space-based research is allowing us to, f to try a different way to, to tackle that problem, to see how can we kill these bacteria. So now you're analyzing the data. Are there any results you can share with us so far? Yeah, there's some stuff that we can share. For example, we've seen something that had been reported before that, uh, that more cells grow in space compared to ground, to Earth. But something that we also have observed is the fact that they're very much smaller in space. The E. coli that we grew in the International Space Station was less than half in volume. It was 41% it was in volume, a cell in space, when you compare it to the exact same situation but grown on, on Earth. So that has several implications on, on different processes. But more interestingly than that is that we have identified specific genes that are responsible for other ser series of processes like the ones we were mentioning that we are interested in, in continuing investigating on AES2, and, but al also some that are we ready to publish. So when will we see AES2? We're currently working on the proposal, so hopefully uh, it will be on next year.